quick pass. And that's Alonzo Moore instead. Breaks the tackle and picks up a first down. There's Alonzo Moore. Played his college football at Nebraska on third and ten. Silvers towards the end zone. Pro. Touchdown, Dragons. Austin Pro with the score. How about this from Brandon Silvers? You talk about some courage to stand in the pocket. He's going to get hit by three guys. Watch right here. He's just going to retreat just a hair to his left. Here's Jones. Underneath, right at the first down mark. He can get up and run as no one touched Jazz Ferguson as he made the catch. Jones over the middle. Good move after the catch by Donald Parham, and the big tight end moves the chains again. Just got it off. Underneath, pass caught and into the end zone. Nagel with the touchdown. 12 yard score for Bob Stoops and the Dallas Renegades, and they will line up right now, tie game. What happens here is that you get way too big of a drop from the middle linebacker. They fake it. Silvers fires that one and is picked off. Off target, right into the chest of Josh Hawkins. There's a late flag as well. Some pushing and shoving going on, and another flag comes out. Brandon Silvers put everything he could into this one. He was just way off target. And that one slotted down back to Jones. You can throw two forward passes in this league, and he does, and connects with Lance Dunbar. Unbelievable savvy from Landry Jones, and Bob Stoops loves it. Ball is batted back to him, and as long as that first pass is caught behind the line of scrimmage, you can throw it back down the field. Jones got a man over the middle, Flynn in and out of his hands, and intercepted. Godwin Equibrique with the pick. And Flynn Nagel just couldn't corral that one in. It was coming with a bit of smoke right through his fingers and into the arms of Equibrique. And I thought it was great coverage, too. Watch this Steven Johnson, number 59. He's going to be running right down the middle of the field. This is a linebacker here matched up on a wide receiver, and he's right there. That's such a tight window to throw the ball for Landry Jones. And because of that, it's tipped up. You see that left hand in there as well. And Igwe Buque comes away with it on the tip drill. And the Seattle defense again, Kurt, just like they did last week against the Vipers, coming up big here with another turnover. Go, go. Silver's on third down. Austin Pro with the catch. Another big conversion. And so far in this game, the Dragons are six for seven on third downs. 29 on that one. And the courage again. He's going to get hit in the pocket. He gets hit by a couple of players. Own read here. And he hands it off instead. Daquan Gardner. Big run for Gardner. Gain of 12, maybe 13. Regardless, it moves the chains. Here's Silvers. Over the middle. Into the end zone. Kenneth Farrell with the touchdown. One of those three-headed running backs with a 19-yard reception, and Seattle yeah. takes the lead. What a great route. That's the jerk route. So you give him that underneath look like he's going to run across the field, and then he just straightens up. Jones has all kinds of time. Running down the sideline, he threw that one way too short. Shannon Stripling with the interception. I mean, he had Jeff Bidette, but didn't get it there. Second interception thrown by Jones. Bidette is a speedster, and he certainly needed to get rid of that one, not only on time, but with a lot on it. But there was pressure in his face. The Seattle defense again getting the turnover, which means you know the ski mask is coming out. But watch the pressure as it gets into Jones's face. Right here, he can't step all the way through. Six foot eight tight end. They go the other way instead. Cameron Hunter's paying out of the backfield, makes a couple of moves, and gets the first down.
And number 49, the tight end we saw leave a couple plays earlier with an injury. And they throw it to him in the end zone for the touchdown. That's a way to come back. Welcome back, Mr. Parra. I would target that guy every single time I got the ball inside of the 10 yard line and they do it off a little play action. Here's why that is so smart. Watch these linebackers. They have to at least acknowledge that play fake. Cameron on his pain. Can he get outside? He does. And he keeps going inside the five yard line. First down and goal. Six for six. And Dallas takes the lead. Something off of this edge. They got it off in time. Jones. Caught Parham. The big tight end rumbles down the sideline. Six foot eight and speed. His second touchdown of the half. 65 on that one. Woo. How about the long strider? Parham goes all the way down now the field. The it looks like he's loping, but it seems as though he's gaining distance along the way. Watch as Landry Jones just floats to his left to buy enough time. Whoa. Cameron Artis Payne cuts it back into the open field. Artis Payne down inside Seattle territory inside the 30-yard line. 31 yards on that run. What a great block from Lance Dunbar in the backfield. And McGinnis remains perfect on the season. Seven for seven. More importantly, it's now a 12-point game, which means two possessions with only 44 seconds left. And the team that everyone thought was going to be one of the favorites in this league starting to play like an XFL favorite under Bob Stoops. Suffocating defense, some explosions on offense. And then Landry Jones, he said he thought he got off to a slow start. He threw a couple of picks, but he also threw three touchdown passes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.